All right, everybody on YouTube, the spray bars are operating. Loving it. The spray bars actually push water all the way across five feet plus, all the way to the front. Nice surface agitation. Down here, looking at the sump. Let's get a flashlight on this. That little white spot right there is the water level. It's actually dead even right now. With what I've done, it's dead level. The drains versus the return is dead level. So, that means one thing. I am still going to put, I will put a ball valve in it. Just the ball valve being in line probably will be enough to slow it up, even if it's not even cracked. But if I just put it in line and just crack it, that will give me what I need. Right now, I'm in an operating where it's dead level. There's no... <clears throat> No chance of an overflow either way, but if there was ever a clog, it's dialed in too exact. If anything ever like a chunk of lettuce or something, or God forbid a dead fish got up and one of the stockmans and plugged the holes, that would reduce the drain. So I'm not going to take a chance on that. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to go ahead, I love this spray bar action, I'm going to go ahead and paint them and do it all permanent now, get everything done with that, and I'm going to put a ball valve in line, and I just wanted to share this with everybody if they can help learn, or help, you know, if this can help anybody else by me learning and sharing. It's exciting. I love the way it looks. The water's got a mess going on. I've actually been in there swimming, falling, everything you can imagine. I've had pieces, parts you see here. There's all kinds of stuff in there for me doing stuff. It's going to need a good cleaning once this is all, all my testing is done. All right, everybody. There you have it. Later.